Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be looking at the rare occasions where people have actually stumped Ben Shapiro. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and much more. Turn on notifications too so that you don't miss future videos. Now let's get right into it. Number 1. Ben Shapiro made an appearance on BBC News where he was interviewed by Andrew Neil. Neil was asking questions about things Ben said in his latest book at that time. The conversation between the two got a little heated. I just really? asked you a question. And I asked you a question. You failed to answer a single one of mine. Well, Frankly, I find this whole thing a waste of time. If you want to read the book and critique the book, why don't you read and critique the book? If you want to read, if you want to critique me, you can think whatever you want of me. Why don't you frankly, just try and I don't answer care. the I don't, I don't frankly give a damn what you you're, think of me since I've you, never heard of you. You and I've never heard of you until I briefed myself for this. Ben was clearly getting disgruntled by Neil. Ben Shapiro went it a little bit and went as far as saying that Neil could say anything about him and he just would not care because he does not know him. Neil replied to that saying that he did not know who Ben Shapiro was until he was briefed to conduct his interview. The fists were well and truly out at this point. Neil tried to carry on the interview and asked a question, but Shapiro was less than willing to carry on. Check this out. Values. Yeah, this is, what are those values? What, uh, what, what are the values it's turning its back on? I, I you know, I, I'm not inclined to continue an interview with a person as badly motivated as you as an interviewer. So I think we're done here. I appreciate your time. All sir. right. Thank you well, so much. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, for showing that anger is not part of American political discourse. Now, Mr. Shapiro, we'll say good. The interview abruptly ended with Shapiro visibly annoyed by Neil, and he thought this whole thing was a waste of time. Neil also had a little snide comment in the end. This was a very interesting interview, to say the least. Number two. Next, we have a clip of Ben Shapiro being threatened. He was on the show called Dr. Drew and during the show, they were talking about Caitlyn Jenner and transgenders as a whole. Ben has a controversial stance on transgender issues, so it was no surprise that what he had said during the show would have offended a couple of people. Caitlyn Jenner, I'll call him Caitlyn Jenner. No, because it's that's her. The... You're not being polite to the pronoun. Because... Disrespect. Okay, forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. But it did not stop there. Later on, it reached a point where the person who was next to him was so offended that she ended up threatening Ben Shapiro. Check this out. Talking about... You're not educated on genetics. Would you like to discuss the genetics or well, no? Well, no, what no. are your genetics? I, I, so I'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. Zoe Tur, who was next to him, was clearly not happy. Shapiro was kind of shocked by the statement. Not quite speechless, but hey, that was quite something. Number 3. Now we have Ben who seems to be talking down on hip-hop. For this clip, he's not able to defend himself, but the guy who's reacting to what Ben is saying found some points that contradicts a lot of what Ben says. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Some Broadway, maybe, so, well, not maybe, so a, a lot of classic jazz. Okay, let's bring this full circle. Shapiro prides himself on history, yet fails to do the same legwork he does on numerous topics. He claims to love jazz. So don't show him this Stanford write-up, how hip-hop music originated from a combination of traditionally African-American forms of music, including jazz. He does not like hip-hop at all, but loves jazz, and yet hip-hop comes from jazz, as seen from the clip. This guy was finding lots of things that made Shapiro's arguments about hip-hop pretty weak. Hey, guess where hip-hop derived from? Jazz, you f***ing dud. We wish we were able to say what Shapiro has to say about this and if he could justify himself after learning all of this because that is quite something. Number 4 And somehow she's now responsible for the Christchurch shooting because she did all of that. But that's how some people feel and therefore it becomes the truth. And they've been told that they're right and that they're special and that they are, they're wonderful individuals because they go to places like NYU and because their parents told them they were special. And so objective fact never actually has to be brought into the conversation. Ben Shapiro was speaking on Fox News about someone who he claimed is anti-Semitic. Kyle Kulinski was watching this interview and his reaction was quite something. He had a lot of things to say about Ben Shapiro starting with this. It's objective fact that Ilhan Omar is an anti-Semite. 
It's an objective fact that Ilhan Omar said anti-Semitic stuff, according to Ben Shapiro. Ben, I'm not quite sure you know what objective fact means. Because it certainly doesn't mean that. Saying she's an anti-Semite. They clearly had a difference of opinion with this one. Check out what else he had to say. Saying she said something anti-Semitic is 100% your opinion and your perception and your interpretation, your subjective feelings about what she said. Kyle was pretty much debunking a lot of what Ben Shapiro said. Well, he had some pretty good points. It would have been fantastic to have him and Ben Shapiro face to face to go at it and have a good debate about this. Clearly, it would be great fun and full of interesting moments. Who knows, Kyle may have been able to keep him speechless. Number 5. Here is Ben Shapiro once again talking about rap. Again, we have this guy reacting to what he's saying and he picked something up which exposes Ben Shapiro. Do you think that it's racist not to like rap? Because I've been told that oh. if I do not like rap, then this is because I do not like black people. See, a Shapiro specialty. I've been told I'm racist because I don't like rap, changing the entire narrative to fit his talking point. The guy reacting thinks that Shapiro is in some way trying to say that he's not racist. But all of the references to what Shapiro has said and tweeted says otherwise. Look at this. He's racist because he writes, If you wear your pants below your butt, don't bend the brim of your cap and have an EBT card, 0% chance you will ever be a success in life. Shapiro types, Israelis like to build, Arabs like to bomb crap, and live in open sewage. Th I don't know what Ben has to say about those tweets, but they are pretty incriminating if you ask me. There is a lot of dirt on him, that's for sure. It turns out Ben Shapiro is not all invincible after all. That was pretty damn interesting. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and much more. Click the bell icon to get notifications for this channel. We'll catch you guys next time. Take care until then.